Hello, this is Adam with Tech Dive. Today we're going to be talking about, actually I said Tech Dive, it's Tech Dive AV Club. This is our offshoot channel specifically for video production stuff using Vase Good Creative Software and we even do some OBS. Speaking of OBS, I tweaked my OBS settings and my video quality should be a lot higher. I uh, hadn't done it in a while because I was editing off my laptop for a lot of reasons. Now I'm on a higher quality computer for doing doing um, more detailed tutorials so because I got a lot more free time so with that being said I think I fixed my uh, bitrate issue with uh, I no longer have to worry about um, recording lower resolution and editing on a, something that couldn't handle it things like that now I'm up to resolution everything should be a lot clearer from now on so we're going to look at uh, how to render video for YouTube and so, speaking of all this rendering stuff, there's a lot of jibber-jabber that comes with that. I stole that word from Kurt and Davina, but jibber-jabber it is. Look at this. Look at all this. Look at all these numbers. There's MPEG-2 and .mbg. This is, uh, this is Google's official Help Center support guide. This is what they say how to render out of it, like the kind of video YouTube prefers. And I'm going to tell you that all this is uh, can be confusing if you haven't had uh, experience with it. But there's no need to worry because it's already been handled for you. So, just let just so you know, MPEG-2 is on the way out the door. MPEG-4 is here to stay for now. So MPEG-4 uh, is is going to be uh, one of the preferred formats they're talking about. So you're going to want to do this right here. Where our target is MPEG-4, video codec, audio codec, AAC. Uh, sorry, the video codec is H.264, and the audio bitrate 128 kilobits per second or better. What I'm going to do is prove to you that this is easy, all right? And so your aspect ratio and stuff like that, um, just leave it the same. That's all this is saying. If you shot at 30, if if you thought at 30 frames a second, upload at 30 frames a second. If you shot at 24 frames a second, upload at 24 frames a second. So. We'll talk about that right now. Let's go to Movie Studios. I'm going to do it at Movie Studios because right now i got a little cute Korok in front of a beautiful mountain vista that I filmed. And I want to show it off to you. So we're going to go to Project, Render As. Remember, you would grab your loop region, right? This isn't a rendering tutorial. Well, actually, let's make it one. So you want to grab your video right here. Project, Render As. Make sure your render options, you have loop region checked. It should stay checked. I just haven't. Uh, uh, done it yet because I've just recently reinstalled the software. Then over here there's all these fancy options. You're going to want to go to Magic AVC AAC MP4. Remember those fancy words we saw right here? Uh, that AAC MP4 um, and that H264 look at this. AVC oh yeah let me I didn't highlight that one. We got Where'd it go? Oh yeah, AAC. Sorry, that's the audio codec. Uh, AVC is uh, is AVC is the type of MPEG-4 it is. So let me show you. It's pretty simple. We go to this right here. Uh, this is going to put it in a .mp4 container. It's going to call it an MP4. Not all MPEG-4s are MP4s, but MP4s are, and MPEG-4s are typically the same thing. Um, but it's going to be a .mp4. And see right here how it says internet? It's already, it knows this. It already knows that you're trying to go to YouTube when you're doing this setting. So uh, I filmed it in 4K and I filmed it in 30 frames a second. Don't be thrown if it says 29.297. Your camera likely filmed in 29.297. It might have filmed in a full 30. Don't worry about that. That's a topic for another video that's called drop frame. Again, a topic for another video. Uh, just assume if it's 30 frames a second, go ahead and grab this. It's going to come out the same. It's going to be fine. So uh, the question is, did you shoot in 4K or 1080p or 720p? Figure that out, whatever you shot in, then pick that. Don't try an upscale or downscale unless, you're, unless you know what you're doing. So if you shot in 4K, go to 4K. And then um, you, this is the render option right here that you want and it's gonna look great on YouTube now this uh, right here is how you render out for using your graphics card this is just what kind of computer cub part you're gonna use whether it's your normal um, uh, processor or if you're gonna use your 
a graphics card to do it and this is because I have an AMD graphics card it says AMD but it would say Nvidia right there or Intel so you had Intel integrated graphics there's there's different um, different things that may pop up here for you this is the standard one but this is okay too there's nothing wrong with using a different way to render it out this might be faster for you or it might be slower that's why it gives you both options so uh, I have GPU stuff enabled so I want to render out with my GPU but again either one of these would be fine and that's it. I hit render. The file it spits out is the file you want to put on YouTube. That's how to do it. That's the exact same with Pro. If you go to Pro, File, oop, there's nothing to render right now. Um, but if, if I wanted to render some blackout, um, yeah, so it's mad at me because I don't actually have any audio in there. But it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. You're going to go to this right here. You're going to go to this right here, or like I said, if you're 1080p or 60 frames a second, whatever you know you filmed at, do that. And then it's going to look great on YouTube. Now, uh, if you want more proof, you can go to Customize Template, and you can even go to like Audio and see the sample rate and the bit rate. It says a minimum bit rate of 128 bits per second. Well, you're two notches above that, my friend. You're at 192,000. Uh, bits per second. So uh, that is definitely uh, a higher bit rate than YouTube was at, at Google and YouTube were asking you for. So that is how to do it. It's that simple. You just click this, you click this, and then you click this, and then it's going to do it. You're going to have a video that's ready for YouTube. Again, uh, tip grab that loop region and make sure to render loop region only this is going to make your life easier thanks for watching this has been adam with tech dive av club i do lots of vegas tutorials a ton of them and i'm doing more and more all the time i'm also working on udemy tutorials about how to edit really more of the philosophy about editing but it will be with vegas creative software i'm also going to start doing some more production related videos and things like that please comment down below if you want to learn anything from me and i'll see what i can teach you i know someone shouted out to me about keyframes i'll be working on that next thanks for watching I'll see you next time.